So I have another race for the e-bikes, the QS90 e-bike and the QS120 e-bike. And the guy I'm racing is a lot lighter, so I think it'll be a lot better race this time. So I haven't raced anybody with the QS120 e-bike since I turned up the controller to 175 amps and added a 300 amp mobile cell battery. So it'll be interesting to see how it runs against a bike that's fairly modified. I'll go ahead and load these bikes up. We'll run over there and we'll see what happens. So we're heading over there with both bikes. Maybe he'll race the big bike first and if he could beat the big one, then there's no use him running the little one because he already beat the big one and the big one's faster. What's up everybody, Spike Man Dan. Finally made it out here. That's the 26 mil Nibby. Ooh, I like those tires. You gotta get yourself a couple of street rollers. Like a hundred bucks each or something? Uh, a little under. Really? Uh, for a pair of them, I think you get them for 136 or something like that. Yeah, I like that, man. You got a nice disc brake on the front. I had to do it. I found myself going so fast that I'm like, you know what? I better do this because God forbid I have to stop in a hurry. It's worth it. Yeah, I know. That thing's fast too, especially with the juggernaut and all that. Yeah, I did a it speed gets a test. Got this sucker up to 61. Oh, yeah, I bet. On a short run. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah, it'll go, man, huh? It's got a 50 rear. Yeah, 50 rear. Yep. No, I'm assuming it's a uh, 10 to 12 on the sprocket on the drive what's, pulley. What's done? What's done to this compared to Jared's? Um, I got the Dyno Cam 265 lift. Oh, cool. The only thing I can't remember is if it's 18, 22, or 26 pound valve springs. I can't remember what's in there. Yeah, but the... it seems to scream, so I'm guessing it's got to be at least up in the cool. 22 pound range. It actually thumps like a hard. That's yeah, got a nice item. Yeah. All right, so where do you want to test run? As far as it goes to the stop sign. Max it out and just see what you okay. got. Let's just um, run the big one first. If you can beat the big one, there's no use racing the little one. Right. Ready? So all the way down to the end then, huh?
So we'll run again, but how far out? How far out do you want want to go? Say, I'll give, give you a head start. Like a five second, five second head start. Okay, five so second. They, that thing it wasted me all the way down. And I'm like, if I, if I get at least a five head, five second head start, I'm thinking I might have like some where more. she's sitting, where she's at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right about maybe where she's at. Okay, go right there and we'll see. Oh. You, I'm gonna go, but a second I pass her, then you go to see if you can catch me. caught up to me you you overshot me what was that i mean when did i leave did, did, did i leave when he got by you yeah okay i just wanted to make sure i gave you enough of a head start yeah you know what i mean so it looks like the e-bikes did pretty well luckily for the little e-bike the big e-bike was there to take up the slack. That Coleman bike runs pretty good. It was actually pretty fast. I think we were doing over 60 miles an hour for sure. So I think the next step for the QS120 e-bike is to upgrade the controller to be able to take advantage of the 300 amp mobile cell battery. It was surprising how stable this bike is at speed with those small tires. 